Imagine a spring attached to a wall on one end and a block on the other. When you pull the block to the right and let it go, it starts moving back and forth in a straight line, like a pendulum. This is called simple harmonic motion. As you pull the block away from its normal position, the spring stretches and tries to pull it back. The more you pull, the stronger the spring pulls back. At some point, the spring's pull is the strongest. When you release the block, it starts speeding back towards the left and keeps oscillating. It's like a back and forth dance, with the spring's pull getting stronger as it moves away from its normal position and weaker as it gets closer to normal position. Upon being displaced to the right and subsequently released, the block exhibits oscillatory motion, characterized by linear simple harmonic motion. As the block deviates from its equilibrium position, the spring undergoes elastic deformation, generating an internal restoring force that opposes the block's displacement. The magnitude of the restoring force is directly proportional to the distance from the equilibrium position. We have to apply increasingly greater force to overcome the escalating restoring force. At a specific distance from the equilibrium position, the restoring force attains its maximum value. Upon release, the block accelerates towards the left, perpetuating its simple harmonic motion.